Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. I just wanted to come here and give y'all a little update on my husband. We got some really good news. As you guys all know, last year he had, um, for a week, he had um, a heart monitor on. And it was at the end of the summer and he was kind of feeling like his heart was palpitating really weird and stuff. And guys, I called it. I told him, you need to get off this beta blocker medicine. It is not good. And the doctor had taken him, weaned him off from it. So he was taking half of what he used to take, but he was still getting really dizzy and everything. And they did the heart monitor and they said, your heart is skipping beats. You, you may need a pacemaker. So he went to the other doctor. It's another cardiologist that does the pacemaker. So he goes to that, that one and he said, oh, well, you need to get completely off this medication and then we'll do another study. So he did that, and they did another week's study in December. So this has been taking months and months and months. And I'll tell you what, it's actually um, stressed my husband out quite a bit. I felt really calm and felt, I felt fine. I knew we were going to get good news, you know. I really knew we were going to get new, good news. And uh, they said, he's fine. His, he is fine. There's no um, problem with his heart. They didn't find through the whole week, you know, his heart wasn't skipping beats and acting crazy anymore. So it's so good. My husband told the doctor, but why do I get out of breath? And I'm like, I have told him many times, you need to do cardio. He thinks cardio is like walking at three miles an hour and, you know, hum, hum, hum. He never gets out of breath. So the doctor said, you need to exercise vigorously and strengthen your heart. So now that the doctor has told him, he is at the gym. <laughs> and I told him, you need to put the incline on on the, you know, when you're walking, use the incline a little bit or go a little faster or something, you know. So he's there um, doing that. So he's working out. Now that he's got the green light from the doctor, he's feeling really good. His blood pressure for the last two days leading up to this uh, visit was a little high. He was telling me, I think I'm going to start taking my blood pressure medication twice a day because my blood pressure is high. And I'm like, or maybe you're just stressed out and you need to calm down. And, you know, medication doesn't solve everything. And uh, the doctor told him, well, you know, you could be maybe retaining fluid. And my husband, you can look at him as he's, he has no extra fluid on his body. You can look at his ankles and everything, you know, examine him. And I told that doctor, I said, he does not have a problem with fluid because I know what he was going to do. He was going to write him a prescription, um, you know, for a diuretic and then have another problem, like, you know, have a pot potassium problem from all your diuretics. So I was like, and he checked his ankle and he's like, oh, okay, he's good. I'm like, yeah, before you give him another medication, please check him out because <laughs> they'll just write I mean he already takes a, a shitload of stuff y'all he really does I, I, if he would just eat healthy and listen to what I tell him he would be okay and I did do a lot of healing sessions for him because he was feeling his heart was palpitating you know and he was like I feel like my heart you know it's going crazy it's it's acting weird and I, I did um my tuning fork directly, directly on his heart. S several times I did healing sessions for him and the palpitations just stopped in its track. So, you know, with prayers, with healing, um, you guys, your thoughts, prayers, wishes, everything combined, it's really helped a lot. So thank you so much for all your prayers. I really appreciate it. God bless y'all. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. It's uh, 66 degrees here. The sun is shining. We don't have to use air conditioner or heat. <laughs> My daughter just sent me a, a picture of her electric bill. Her electric bill is also $500 from last month. So, yeah. And uh, electricity just went up again here um, for us at CPS in the San Antonio area. Yeah. You know, I'm going to get on my soapbox, but
but this is the way it works and this is the way I see things and this is uh, what I believe. Energy could be free. They have, they have the knowledge to make everybody comfortable and us to all use energy for free, but then we wouldn't be working every day to pay our damn electric bill. So, you know, it's kind of a conspiracy theory and not, not that I aspire to conspiracy theories, but the government needs everybody to work and pay taxes. They, they need that to, you know, have a strong government. They want us all to be slaves. And with the high electric bill, that's why nobody will help us with the electric bill and regulate, you know, electricity. It needs to be, it needs to be regulated. It really does because they want to keep us working until the very end, <laughs> but we can manifest enough money to pay for it. So even though they want to keep us working, they're going to just keep us making money and we're making money for the government. That's all it is to it. They're making money off our taxes. You know, that's it. So that's why we're not seeing relief in those ways. But one day it will change. It will change. Maybe not in my lifetime, but one day it will change and people will have free energy. So y'all, you know, maybe your great, great grandchildren can look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Love you. Take care. If you'd like to get a reading with me, look down below. I'll leave my email. I'm doing a lot of healing sessions, um, you know, a lot of energy work. If there's anything that you need, hit me up. Let me know. Okay. Love you guys. And if you know, if you just need a healing session, just, you know, for a loved one, a friend or anything, just uh, make sure you send their name to me. You can't just say, my friend please send me their first name. It doesn't have to be their last name, but their first name so that I can really focus on them. Okay. All right. Take care. Love y'all. Bye for now.